bathroom. I see some excitement happening here. Oh my gosh, look at the lid. Look how quiet it is going down. This is amazing. Check this out. You want to see how to do this? I'll show you right now. Look at that. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Today, I'm going to change out this uh, toilet lid with a new one. And this is a Theffer toilet. Uh, Dometic makes toilets, too. And they have a soft closed lid. Um, but you can buy a store-bought lid, usually, and they fit pretty well. So you just got to look around. This one here was recommended by James Hopkins. He's done a replacement on his, and that's where I got the idea. So you can get it either Home Depot or Amazon. I'll make sure I put links below in the description below this video. If you're interested in purchasing one, they're easy to change out. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in close and show you how this uh, toilet seat removes here. So first you wanna to go to the back of the toilet, lift, these tabs could be kind of hard to do but if you use a screwdriver you can pry them up just like that and on the bottom are these nuts and washers so go ahead and remove those i've already done it already and then just lift it that off the toilet seat off and then you, you show the toilet i've cleaned everything up really nice and now i'm going to go ahead and place the other one in place and uh, I'll show you the difference. You're gonna see a little bit of difference here where it goes nice and clean on the toilet. The new one will go around here and here, but it doesn't look bad. So I think you're gonna be okay with it. I'm okay um, doing it in our trailer. I think it looks great. So I'm gonna put it on and show you what it looks like. So it's just setting here. And you can see here what it looks like right along here, this area here. But uh, you'll see when this is together, I don't think it's going to look bad at all. So I'm going to go ahead and lift these tabs here and show you what it looks like under there. So we're going to go ahead and um, attach it so that these hinges are uh, bolted down. This has got a pretty cool uh, setup. I like it. It's pretty slick. So you have this little cupped setup here. This bolt goes in, so you have the long ends here, and the arrows on this, this is a bolt, slide it in place like that. And then what'll happen is, we're gonna go ahead and, and bolt this down, and then we'll be able to slide this toilet in place like that. So. We'll be able to slide this in that little opening. So I've already done this side. I've got it snug, but not real tight. Because what we'll do is we're going to go ahead and put it on and then slide the toilet and look at the front. Make sure the front of the toilet all lines up over here. So it's pretty uh, hard with these RVs to get in and reach things. So you could take the toilet out or you, can, or you could do what I did. I took a socket with an extension, put it on here. Here's a, the nut, and it has a washer that swivels here. So when it hits the bottom of the porcelain, it'll swivel as you tighten. So I'm going to put this on here on the socket. I'm going to reach underneath and turn it by hand and just get it snug but not real tight. And then I'll come back to you. Let's go to the next step. I got these loose. I'll tell you what, it's really difficult to reach under there and get it started on there, but you can do it. Um, so I think the, the trick is to do what I did with the this setup here, to reach under there and do that. And maybe even place a mirror underneath here so you can see. And if, uh, if you want, if you have a hard time, you can always take the toilet off, which I think there's a couple bolt over here over here and pull it out into it so now for the fun part hopefully it'll go good these should slide right in place we'll see you never know what's going to happen if it's going to be easy or hard that one slid in that one's in so what i'm going to do i'm going to lock that down and then 
I'm going to line up the front here. So I'm going to slide it back and forth until I'm happy with it and it's it's centered on both sides. Let's see if I can go out a little bit. So I want to center this and make sure it's all flat around here. So it is. I'm going to hold it in place and then I'm going to go ahead and um, tighten these uh, nuts up on here. And then I'll come back to you and we'll see how this thing works. I think this turned out pretty good. So I'm going to show you what it looks like up above. You do see a little bit of gap here. You know, the other toilet was all the way out to here. But that's okay. It all lines up. So I think it turned out real well. It's nice and lined up around here. It looks good here. It just, it looks like it belongs there. So let's take a look and see how it closes. Now let's see how softly it closes compared to the other one. I never showed you the other one, but it just slammed down. It was all plastic. See, this is plastic, but it's really a strong plastic. So as you can see, it's going down pretty slow. Let's see how quiet is when it is when it hits the seat. You can't hear it much, so let me go down low and we'll watch it again. I'm going to let this lid close and you can watch it. And then I'm going to do it with this, uh, both of them closing at the same time and see what happens. This is exciting. Look at that. It doesn't get any better than that. That's nice. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift them both up. And then go ahead and let that run down. And let's see how this does. Oh, look at that. It's separating. So they hit at different times. Sweet. So a lot of us have uh, soft closed toilet lids at our homes. So it's nice to carry it on into our RV. So if you don't have one in your RV, I highly recommend changing it out and replacing it with a soft closed lid. So I want to say thank you everybody for watching. I sure appreciate it. And uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and uh, hit that subscribe and uh, the bell icon to be notified of future videos. I have roughly around 120 videos out right now and i'm doing my best to put more out there as i come up with content so thanks a lot for watching everybody and happy camping